Can we see your teeth splash? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. Boo's getting some morning pets today. He slept in the living room last night and uh, the automatic feeders went off this morning for breakfast, but I had to pick him up and take him to the feeder. I guess he was not expecting it because I'm here, but I'm testing them out so I could fill them up for dinner and their meals tomorrow. And then um, the other cats I put downstairs. Well, I um, they got their breakfast in the automatic feeders downstairs. And I went downstairs to see if they ate from them. And all three of them followed me downstairs. And someone had started eating from the feeders, but um, they didn't finish their food. So I figured while they're down there, let me... Um, shut the door because it makes it easier for me uh, doing it that way than having to wrangle them up later. So they are downstairs. I still have to finish setting up the automatic feeders. But Boo has been um, wanting pets. See, this is what Boo does. He directs me where he wants my hand to be. So if I put my hand in the wrong place, he uh, he literally moves it with his paws. So like right now, he wants me to pat the top of his head. He likes to watch Tucker, Dax, and Cisco. I just went to fill up Boo's water bowl and this is what happened. Now I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but that is not clear water. That is brown water. And I've been running the tap for a while and I've been trying to refill this. No matter what I do, it's brown water. I just filled this jug up with tap water. This is tap water. It's brown. It's not supposed to be brown. It's supposed to be clear. So I just called up the water company to find out why I have brown water. And they said that they also received several other calls from this area and that they're going to send someone out to check um, and see what might be going on with their water lines. Um, they said maybe uh, someone had used a hydrant or disrupted a hydrant and I said this morning I saw someone pull up to a hydrant and I don't know if he was servicing it or what he was doing um, but he was working on it for some time and then they told me that uh, when that happens it pulls a lot of pressure into the system and it disrupts the minerals that are in the pipes. And I said, okay, so what can be done to fix the situation? And she said, well, if you just wait about an hour or more, the minerals should settle down again, and then your water should run clear again. So I said, okay, so I'll do that. But I also want to point out that this water is the color of the water that is left in my water distiller after I distill water. So this water is the same color of the sludge that's in my water distiller. Now the reason why I'm mentioning this uh, is because 
The woman at the water company said that the minerals will settle back down, which means they are always there. And she's calling them minerals, but let's call them by what they really are, which is, this could be rust from the pipes. This is basically some kind of debris within the water pipes. So it's always there and it's always in the drinking water. The only difference is the amount of it that is in the drinking water. Normally the amount is much smaller because it is settled, but when it's unsettled, the amount is much larger. And when I distill the water, the water that's left over is more similar to this concentration than the concentration that's normally in the tap water. And because this just happened, it makes me much happier that I do have a water distiller so that I am not consuming this on a daily, weekly, yearly basis. Because when you think about it, although the water consumed on a daily basis when it's flowing clear um, is not highly concentrated with this amount of debris or residue or minerals, over time, this is what it looks like as it accumulates in your body. And that is pretty concerning. It is 11 a.m. Let me explain to you what has been going on this morning. So. I was petting Boo and I decided, well, let me look at his teeth again. And I think Boo lost a tooth. I think he lost one of his top teeth. Now in the video that I posted, I don't know, several days ago, maybe a week ago, I showed Boo's teeth. And if I remember correctly, when I looked at his teeth, um, you know, the little top teeth between his two big canine teeth. There's supposed to be six teeth there in a cat. And I remember Boo only having five, and I remember thinking, oh, that's weird. I wonder if one of his teeth got knocked out. I wonder if he lost a tooth, um, and or was he born that way? So I remember thinking that. And then this morning, I looked at his teeth again, and he only has four teeth. He only has four teeth between his two big canine teeth. And... Um, so I don't know if he lost a tooth. I don't know if I'm just remembering things wrong. Um, it could be that he only had four. And for some reason, I thought it was five. I mean, I don't know. This is what his teeth look like today. And it's hard for me to see because... I'm filming this upside down and I'm going to try to put it right side up when I edit it. To me, it looks like he's missing a middle top front tooth. When I, and when I say he's missing one, it looks like there's one less than was there the last time I filmed him like this, which was a week ago, uh, 10 days ago, I don't know, three days ago, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway. So that got me to checking his gums because they say um, that a sign of gingivitis is like really bright red gums versus pink gums. And to me, his gums do look pink. Um, they're not bleeding. He does not have bad breath. So he does not have the symptoms of gingivitis that a normal cat would have, which would be like bleeding gums, very red gums, bad breath. He doesn't have bad breath at all. Um, so so that's a little weird so what i need to do is research more about um, gum disease in cats and um, problems with teeth now what i did find out is that cats that are fiv positive are more susceptible to um, gum disease and teeth problems uh, usually uh, it doesn't start in cats until they're like six and booze only three so um yeah, so the other thing I need to do is I need to get him back to being more healthy uh, than he is. So obviously he's been eating raw food. He's also been eating a good amount of crunchies. Not that many crunchies, but I would like to see if I could 
wean the cats off of the crunchies. I think there's better options available, like instead of crunchies, the freeze-dried raw, because they do like the freeze-dried raw. And another option would be like the little dried fish treats, something that's either raw, dried, or freeze-dried. So um, that's the plan. It's not gonna happen right now because I'm supposed to be going away for the next few days, but when I get back, um, that's what I wanna do. Right, Boo? I mean, Boo is feeling okay. He's eating okay. Um, I don't see any other signs or symptoms of anything going on weird with him. Um, but I don't know. I just, and I looked at the images from the video the other day, and to me it does look like maybe he had one more tooth in that video, but I am not 100% certain. The cats have their automatic feeders set up. And uh, for breakfast today, they got the uh, Instinct Raw Chicken Medallion and a Primal Raw Turkey and Sardine Nugget. And Boo ate the Primal Raw Nugget and he left his uh, Instinct Nugget. And I did have to bribe him with some crunchies. But let me show you what I have set up here for his other meals. So for dinner, it is one of the uh, Primal Raw Turkey and Sardine Nuggets with the Primal Raw Rabbit Freeze Dried Nuggets. And for the other meals, um, for tomorrow's meals and then the breakfast the next day. It is one of the Primal Raw freeze-dried rabbit nuggets with uh, crunchy as a tablespoon of crunchies. And this is because he's eating out of the feeder for uh, like the next two days. So um, that's the situation. I'm gonna probably uh, squash that down. The other cats are all having the same exact thing. They have their feeders downstairs and um, they're all set up to go also. I just came downstairs. Here's Stella, she's laying on the sofa. How are you, Stella? Let's look at Stella's teeth. Stella doesn't open her mouth enough. It's hard to see her teeth. Stella, let's look at your teeth. Are you missing your teeth also? Stella. Stella looks like she has all six of her upper teeth, uh, but they're tiny, tiny, tiny teeth. They're so tiny. They're barely out of the gums. And here's Splash. Hello, Splash. He's a very brave boy right now because he didn't jump and run. How are you, Splash? They had some of the bench and field treats this morning. Hello, Splash. Can we see your teeth too? Will you show us your teeth, Splashy? Splash, can we see your teeth? Can we see your teeth, Splash? This is the first time ever that I'm putting a camera this close to Splash while he's sleeping or while he's laying down. Usually he runs. Hello, baby. I just want to pet him. Look, he didn't run. Look guys, he didn't run. He didn't jump. This is so big for Splash. See, I just tried to, uh, to kneel down near him and then he ran. See, if you move too much or too fast, he runs, but he's getting better. And here's Simba. Simba's sleeping in the plastic cat bed. They love these beds, right? Okay, Simba, let me see your teeth. Let me see your teeth, Simba. Simba doesn't like showing me his teeth right now. I want to see your teeth, Simba. Wow, wow, Simba. Wow, Simba. That's a big yawn. Show me your teeth. Show me your teeth. Let's move the plastic. 
Simba. Simba, show me your teeth. I missed it. Simba, show me your teeth. Simba, show me your teeth. Show me your teeth. Simba, show me your teeth. You could do it, come on. Show me your teeth. Let's look at your teeth. You don't want to move your head? Okay. You just want to relax? Show me your fluffy belly. Look at how fluffy you are. Stella says, why are you bothering me? I'm trying to sleep over here. Stella says, where are you going? Where are you going? Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.